Are we good? We good. Alright. Um. Hey everyone! Coming to your live again. Oh, hi, I'm Cooler, man. Uh, welcome to another hell of this area. Uh, right now we're back at the ice, uh, Seagull Ice Cap. Landing point. Here's a pocket cloud. I think is a bunch of total lies. And, uh, apparently Nick is, a uh, yeah. She, she's no good. I like her. She'll be back. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, we're gonna go on and jump in. So, see where we need to go. We need Back to the hallway. Here we go. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the oh, Abbey is onto us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal, Steal it. it. Steal a ship from Hell of Ease. Yeah. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Yeah. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. We'll take her with us, just because she's weird. Let's head to Dial's you know, cave. She's a third Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. Stooges. You know, we gotta keep a weird one around. But she always has to be. Literally. She's got her own maid. I'm glad. Happy. Yay. Saving complete. Ah. Okay. 
Rust on my blade.
know if I'm getting chased by anything or not. Nope. Gotta go get Dial. What do we do? I don't know where to go. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Yep. Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Magilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Magilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're yep. probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. Yep. All right. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs>
Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who doesn't, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Man who killed your sister also. be on my boat. I get my bed. Saving. Saving. 
Diving complete. Alright. Here we go. Yo. Dial. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah. Got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe yep. not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, the direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, me? naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Today. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. I meant not today, but, uh, I mean, Velvet? you know, uh, I rest hey, here for today. Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. Yep. Just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's go then. Yay. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Mal is tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But 
But... I have to Healer. remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, no. not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call no. that a positive. Oh. Who's there? Me. Oh, I'm me. pretty sure you were expecting me. See? They were nothing. The townspeople are gone. Yep. I was right. It's a trap. Bye bye. Bye. Um, let me through. Please. Okay, you're making me feel shady now. Rescue me. Oh, you're more of a softie than I ever gave you credit for, demon lady. Yep. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island? Yep. What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that. Slowly. Oh. Okay. Come and face me, that exorcist! I am honor bound to aid her. Beware of her left arm. <laughs> Got. A pair of demons should be simple for you. I can 
really do that all day. I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Oh, really? Number two. You can't finish your own work. Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our stores of flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! I'm with you! I told you. What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! I won't let you escape! Never! Okay. You deceitful snake! I'm a demon. Spare me your sins, then you can pay with your life! <laughs> Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! Uh -uh. 
Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helavis is no more! Curse you! Curse you! Ah, such ghastly demons! The Abbey, no, Lord Artorius himself must be informed! And we're always on the rundown with the ships. And we're running away with the ships. And nobody can catch us. Because we're on the sea. And nobody cares on the sea because it's so big. That turned out better boat. than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. I'm on a boat. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His yeah. arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, uh. number two? Yes. Only demons can see Malakim. I'm Malik, sure. Saving. 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 The sea. Saving. They don't give you a different name, but number two. I'm just gonna call you Sadie. Hey, girl. Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Moggy Lou's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel. I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. Nice. <laughs> wow. You see, easy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... Yep. That's the truth. What's up, kiddo? <sighs> Velvet! How's our heading? Looking good. Looking very oh, good. This is so hard to read. Yep. It's true. Actually, you're holding it wrong. <laughs> it's built to function even if the ship is rolling. <sighs> Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid. What's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. No. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that 
it's an order? I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? <sighs> right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. Hey, Bobo. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and paper. No pendulum that I can see. Hold up! Stop it! Test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stopped the course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. Yeah. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partner. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral, if you like. So, what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's yep. nothing more to say. But first mate! Y you can't go alone! We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Which is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. 
Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the Gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Only if you... Only if you believe that. That's what you believe, then yeah. Yep. Thanks. Saving. Save. All right. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that a wrap here, and um, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a break. I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone.